Welcome to the TSP Electronics channel. This is a video testimonial of the way an SDR pan adapter has been added to the great IC781 from ICOM. First of all, let me thank IZ4AQT Nikola for sharing his excellent results in installing RF buffer interface in his radio. Let's start with a short reminder. In order to have a pan adapter, we need to bring out of the radio the IF signal of its receiving chain. We generally sample it after the first RF mixer but before the roofing filter. In this way, we have a wideband signal. To not overload the mixer circuitry, a special buffer is required. Our iFace is the perfect buffer for this application. Here you can see how the board has been prepared for the installation inside the radio. In this phase of the installation process, the input and output signal coaxial cables and the power supply cable, in red, have been soldered to the board. Here you can see how the board has been prepared for the installation inside the radio. In this phase of the installation process, the input and output signal coaxial cables and the power supply cable, in red, have been soldered to the board. The small size of the iFace V.2 interface, in particular the extremely limited thickness of the SMD construction, made it possible to choose a location inside the shielded box of the RF unit. Having used a rather rigid shielded cable, RG316, U, and the sampling point of the IF signal being particularly hidden, particular care had to be taken in the path and execution of the solderings. Primary objective, we must have curves of the coaxial cable sufficiently wide so as not to create excessive stress on the soldering points. Here you can see how the iFace has been wrapped with two insulating layers of plasticized cardboard, this prevents accidental electric contacts with other circuitries. Here you can see that the iFace, suitably sandwiched between two insulating layers of plasticized cardboard, can easily find its place inside the RF unit compartment. To facilitate soldering of the IF pickup cable, the RF unit board has been removed from its housing so that the contacts on its underside can be easily accessed. Here you can see the positions of the components on the RF unit where we will sample the IF signal and where we will take the power supply for the iFace. It should be noted that the welding, for convenience, will then be carried out on the bottom side of the RF unit. Here you can see the positions of the solderings on the bottom layer of the RF unit. The red cable is for the positive of the power supply, the other cable is the RG316, U for the IF signal. This is the way the iFace interface has been placed inside the RF unit of the IC781. It perfectly fits next to those shielded boxes. Note the wide turns of the coaxial cables, this prevents stresses to the solderings. Now it's time to bring the IF signal out of the radio. It needs to be brought up to the rear panel of the radio, and here you can see where the output coaxial cable is passing going from the iFace to the output connector. Before arriving at the output connector, an RF choke was inserted in order to prevent any propagation of unwanted signals. This was made with two cylindrical ferrites. The choke was then suitably protected with heat shrink tubing, in green. It fits perfectly in the middle of two electronic boards on the bottom side of the radio. To bring the IF signal outside, it was decided to use the free spare connector on the rear panel of the radio. This is accessible through special contacts on the printed circuit board called Connector 1. In order not to disassemble the Connector 1 printed circuit board, it was decided not to solder the pins of the spare RCA connector, and the end of the IF output cable from iFace V.2 was terminated with two golden female pins recovered from a military connector V Mamphenol. Finally, here you can see how the output if signal cable is connected to the connector 1 printed circuit board. It totally looks like a factory made work. At this point the work is finished and from the rear panel of the radio the if signal is conveniently available and ready to be sent to the external SDR receiver, in the photo it is visible in blue. 
We want to thank again IZ4AQT Nikola for his great testimonial and his spectacular installation. This is what we call a perfect collaboration, from our product to your satisfaction. And remember, if it can work on an IC781, it can also work on your radio. Please visit our website for more information, link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video and to follow us.